Hi, my name is Corey Goss, and in this video, I'll be introducing you to the UVM debug tickle commands that are available for users of Incisive Enterprise Simulator. First, we'll be discussing a bit about the requirements that are needed in order to utilize these commands. Then we'll be moving into a few of the key debug commands that are available to users. However, this is not all of the commands that you can use, so I'll be showing you where to find more information on other commands. Let's move over now to our demo. So first we'll be looking at a, uh, and these are commands that I should start by, by saying that these are commands that can be used on uh, any time you have the NC Sim uh, simulator prompt in front of you. So these can be used in both batch simulation as well as in interactive simulation in the simulator console that you're seeing here within SimVision. So the first command that I'd like to introduce is a fairly straightforward one, and this is the UVM uh, component command. So I can say UVM component, and if I say dash list, what this does is it shows me a listing out of all of the top level UVM, sorry, all of the UVM components within my environment. So from here, I can get the class handles to any of them. Uh, I might want to grab that class handle to do a describe or a value operation, or perhaps I might want to set my scope and so forth. All of that can be done through uh, navigating through this list. Uh, perhaps another way or a more useful command to some people might be not to say dash list but to say UVM component dash tops. And what this does is it shows you the top level UVM component uh, in the environment. And in this case, for me, it is actually my test case. So we see here we have the UART bad parity test being listed as my top level component. Now I can do other more useful, uh, more detailed, sorry, debug by um, getting information on specific uh, components in my environment. So let's say I want to search for all monitors. So I'm going to look for uh, add a dash describe star dot monitor. So wildcards are accepted. And here I'll say dash depth two. And what I see now in front of me is a listing of all of the UVM um, monitors in my environment or any uh, any instance that ends in dot monitor and I've specified dash depth 2 so that it will expand out subclasses so we see here we have an RX scoreboard and we've inside there we have probably uh, yeah, two different uh, TLM ports and so in there we can actually um, uh, see those now all right um, the next thing I'd like to introduce is the UVM factory command so uh, factory overrides are, are kind of a key challenge in, in uh, UVM in that anyone can overwrite just about any different type in the environment. So getting an idea of what is being overridden is sometimes very useful. So the first thing I'd like to show you is I'd like to say uh, UVM factory dash print and I'm going to say dash all types. And when I print this off what you're seeing are all of the types that have been registered with the factory. So I can do type overrides on any one of these objects that I'd like. And in order to see the type overrides, I go back to my command and I just don't say all types. Um, this will show me all of the instance overrides or type overrides in the environment. Now, right now I don't have any, but we can also use this command to actually create factory overrides. So I'm going to say dash override UVM factory dash override. I'm going to say by type. And I have an old version of a UART frame that I've been using in the environment, but I'm testing out a new UART frame, let's say. So I can dynamically do this and I'll say UART frame version one. So I'm actually going to replace all the UART frames with UART frame v1. And this is a class that I have already registered with the factory. I hit enter and now I go back and do my UART factory sorry, UVM factory command again, and now we see that I've actually overridden all of the UART frames with UART frame uh, version one. So the next command I'd like to introduce is UVM message command. So you may be by default enabling your scripts to run in a low verbosity setting, but perhaps when you run up to a particular point, you, you might wanna actually turn on or enable more uh, UVM messages. So in order to do that, you can simply say something like UVM full and star. Star indicates the locations within the environment that you'd like to override. And in this case, I'm going to override everything. And now we've just changed the verbosity level for the entire environment. Now, if 
you're not sure what are all the commands to each of these, you can always say something like UVM message dash help, and that will give you a listing out of all of the inputs into the UVM message command. And you can do that for any of the UVM commands. So another, um, another uh, a command that I'd like to introduce to you is the UVM objection command. But in order to do this or demonstrate this a little better, I'm actually going to run a simulation. So here I'm going to run the simulation up to a point where I believe I should encounter an assertion. And so we've stopped. Now, where are we in the environment? Um, one thing I can do is I could say, which phase am I in? So I'll say UVM phase, and this returns to me that I am in the run phase. Okay, so that's another command. Another thing I can do is say UVM objection. And this shows me who is currently objecting to this phase completing. And in this case, we see that there is one object, that's the UVM test top, that's objecting into this particular uh, phase. Now, if I wanted to get more information about who's objecting to all phases, um, I can also say UVM objection and dash all. And this is kind of like showing you where exactly in the simulation you are, because you can see from my objections that there's nobody objecting to build objection, uh, sorry, to yeah build, and nobody objecting to connect or end of elaboration or start of sim, but we do have one objector in the run phase, and we still haven't actually made it through extract and check and so forth. Um, the last command I'd like to quickly introduce is the UVM version, and there's a reason why I want to say this. Uh, it's a very simple command that prints out the UVM version to the screen. However, the, what's important to note here is that these UVM commands are only available through the Cadence UVM solution. So if you're using the Cadence UVM library, then uh, what, you, uh, what you will get is extra commands available to you as well as a number of interactive debug commands. And um, these, uh, so I haven't covered off all of the commands in this particular demo. However, I did want to show that in order to get more information, you can simply type UVM commands at the, uh, at the search box inside of our Cadence help solution. And then from here, um, you'll get a number of search results, and you can uh, you can uh, click on any of these particular items here. So let's say UVM tickle commands, and this will take me to a listing of all of the tickle commands that are available to me for debug within our solution. So thank you very much, and I hope this helps.